So I'm going to start off uh, before I get into the bulk of the video, which will be on Dave Gettleman and all the misnomers. I do want to apologize for not coming out with a video yesterday. I had a little bit of OT, so I had to go make that bread, so I really didn't have a chance to record. Um, it's actually been a very busy week for me. So uh, and after I record this video, I'm off to go celebrate my kid's uh, birthday. So uh, it's a little bit of an early. His birthday's not till October, but because of what's going on in the world, obviously Today was just going to be a better day to do it, so we're going to go celebrate my kid's birthday. So I uh, wish Ian a happy fourth birthday. Either way, uh, I'll be live a bunch of times. Obviously, tomorrow I'll be live on the sports reaction for the San Francisco 49ers and the New York Giants. Um, we might be live for tonight for the UFC. I just text him waiting for confirmation, so check that out. Regardless if I'm there or not, you know, he does a great job with the UFC. Um... Then we'll be live again on my channel on Monday night for the Big Blue Breakdown. And then we'll be live again for a little bit of a special surprise for you guys. September 29th for the presidential debate. Biden versus Trump. Should be very interesting. But before I also get into it, please consider hitting that like button. It, I do appreciate it. Also, if you like what you're watching, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you, when you, so you know when I go live when I make a video, so you can find out. Either way, let's get into David G. So Dave, Davey G, after another 0-2 start for the umpteenth time, New York Giants fans have had enough. Not all of us, but the younger generation that just thinks championships grow on a tree, you're either a coach or a GM away, and that magically you can achieve anything every year, does not matter, you just need the right coach and GM, and you just keep hiring and firing till you get where you want to go. No, you don't. And you don't need to go very far, and you don't need to dive into PFF, you don't need to dive to any sort of analytics, you just need to look at landscape of the NFL as a whole, and you see somebody like the Kansas City Chiefs, the Ravens, the 49ers, the Seattle Seahawks, teams that have had a GM and a coach that have been there for a while, and a system installed, even a quarterback installed for a little while. You know, Patrick Mahomes, what, has already been in the league for what, three, four years almost now? I think, what, is this his fourth year, right? I'm not mistaken, third or fourth. But either way, been in the league for a while. Russell Will, been in the league for a little while. Even Lamar Jackson. Been in the league for a little while. You see continuity around the NFL. So why would you want to build your team any differently? You know, go back through history and look at teams like the Jets, the Lions, the Cleveland Browns, changing constant turnover at coach, GM. When's the last time any of these teams won anything? You see the Giants on the same trajectory, yet you want them to implement the same thing. Doesn't that sound psychotic to you? Because it is the definition. That is a chaos way of looking at things. Like, you cannot do that. And I get it. You don't like some of the moves that Le uh, that Dave Gettleman has made. Uh, Leonard Williams. Starting off 0-2 consistently, it feels like. Um, maybe trading Odell, even though I think that was one of his better trades. Um, drafting Saquon number two overall. But did you ever sit there and look to think about those trades or, or, or those moves? and Why he made the moves he made. Even somebody maybe you feel as egregious as Alec Ogletree. The Giants were looking to win in 2018. Why? Ownership. That's why you didn't get Theo Riddick or any of these other GM candidates. Why? Because they pitched ownership on a rebuild. What did ownership not want to do? Rebuild. Even if you think right or wrong, this is what ownership wanted. This is very clear. This is what ownership still wants. That's why ownership had made the brass decision of getting a rid of Pat Shermer. But I digress there because that will take me down into the whole Daniel Jones thing. And I'm going to save that for tomorrow. I argue for Dave Gettleman to stay because you need continuity in the NFL. And he's put pieces in place that I think will develop into something. I get it. You don't like the fact that Saquon was drafted number two overall. You say to yourself... Look, it look you, you could have traded back. All these things are a team that should have been rebuilding. The Giants didn't want to do that. It wasn't Dave Gettleman. It was ownership. Impatience 
by ownership has led us where we are today. And a lot of people will tell me, well, Jeff, we can't change ownership. We can only change what we can control. So if we put pressure on firing GMs and firing coaches, maybe we'll get where we want to go. Or you won't, and you'll be stuck spinning your wheels in the same damn mud pit like you have been for the last eight years by these rash decisions. And you want to make another one. Are you nuts? You must be crazy. This is the definition of insanity. We need to break the mold. I do pray that we do get to six or seven wins. We'll have some semblance of continuity. We'll have some semblance of something moving forward so Giants fans don't completely overreact week after week. I don't want to call the San Francisco 49ers a must win because I said the Chicago Bears were a must win. But I said that more or less so because I knew what the fan base would do if we did lose to the Chicago Bears and they did the exact thing I feared. And before you sit there and say, well, replacing Dave Gettleman to me is the most optimum thing to do. Here's fact. If you replace Dave Gettleman, you bring in a new GM. New GMs want roster turnover and develop a roster into what they want. So if you get this hypothetical GM, they might not be a big fan of Joe Judge. They may not be a big fan of Daniel Jones. You might be going over another, you might be rebuilding again. But we have pieces in place. Yeah, he may not like those pieces. It might not suit his system. He may start hemorrhaging pieces and getting the team to what he wants. Did you ever think of that? And you could barely go through two years of a rebuild and you want to start anew? Not to mention... Because of outside influence and the current environment we live in, we may be forced to hire a certain type of GM. And me, I personally want the best GM. Did you ever think of that? No, you don't. Stop making these rash statements. Think through things. Even if you're a basic fan, you know, what I'm saying is open your mind up a little bit. Think before you just speak on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Look at the NFL as a whole. See where you want to go. I'm not saying you have to model after every team, but there's models to set your sights towards. And a lot of these Giants fans that are really impatient are younger Giants fans that only know 07 and 11. And I always say, learn your history. Because if you don't, you're doomed to repeat it. And the Giants have gone through large swaths in their history of losing. And you might be in that swath. You think seven or eight years or even three really bad losing seasons is bad? Man, it can get a whole lot worse. A whole lot worse. Try two decades type stuff is what I'm talking about. You know what? You hired a new coach with Dave Gettleman. Firing Dave Gettleman at this point, I get it. If we have a 2-14 and season, a 1-15 and season, a 3-13 and season, this is what we can talk about if we achieve that record. But if we do not, and we show improvement throughout the season. There's 14 other games to be played. And I, what I do believe is a winnable game this week. So we can get on the board. In a bad division, we may competing despite all the stuff we've lost already. So, take a deep breath. Let's see what this week brings. And tomorrow, I'll be talking, obviously, about the whole dynamic with Daniel Jones, Trevor Lawrence, and Trey Lance, and all that other crap I've heard. Either way, guys, it's been OGR Sports. And I'll catch you on the next vid.